Hi. In this section, we'll have a look at how Asanify can handle the leave management for your organization. As an admin on the left navigation panel, you can go to the leave section and first take a look at the leave policies. We have preloaded a lot of sample leave policies, which may be relevant for you, or you can create a policy of your own quite easily. Let's have a look at how the policies are created on the system. I can give the name of the policy, let's say the sample policy one. I can define the features of my sample leave policy. Let's say I want to classify it as any of these leave types, let's say casual leave. I can define from what date the policy is effective, whether the leave is encashable or not. I can define multiple other rules. Let's say I want to give out 12 leaves to my employees in a year where one leave is given out every month. Then the accrual pattern is fixed. The accrual is done throughout every period. If total per year leaves is 12 and it is given out monthly, I can also define whether it is given at the beginning of the month or at the end of the month. You can also define whether the balance at the end of the month will get reset to zero or will get, keep getting carried forward month on month. Usually no is a better idea because the leaves don't expire every month you'll expire it at the end of the calendar year period in a typical sort of a way. You, for every employee, you can also define whether there's a waiting period before the leaves start accruing. This is usually used in case of probation period of an employee. So you can define whether the employee needs to have worked in the company for X number of days before the leave starts accruing in the kitty. For this example, let's say there is no waiting period for the leaves to start accruing for the people. We can define the maximum carry forward days. Let's say out of 12, only six will get carry forward. I can also define what, how many days of leaves can be accrued in total. So if 12 leaves are given every year and six are carried forward, I say 18 is the maximum balance that the employee will have at any point in time. Do you want the leave to be given on a pro rata basis? So if somebody joins in the middle of the month, instead of one leave, it'll get, they'll get only half a leave. The system also supports decimal leave count. So if somebody has two and a half leaves, they can use that half for the half day leave that they may want to take on any particular day. Uh, there are a last set of questions that we need to define before we finally implement the policies. Uh, you can define whether you want the employees to give some advance notice before they start applying for leave. Let's say, for this particular leave type, I want my employees to put in an advance notice of at least one day. Uh, should the advance notice be given for all leave counts or only when people are taking more than X number of leaves? These are important parameters because for a one day emergency leave, the employee may not want to give a, cer a certain advance notice. But if somebody is going for a week off, you will need a significant advance notice to be given. That is something that can be defined quite easily on the system. You can also define during the leave period of the employees, whether the holidays and the weekends which are falling in between, are they excluded or included? Can the half day leaves or quarter day leaves can be taken by the employee or not? You can also define whether the negative leave balance is allowed or not. Many a times the companies allow the negative leave balance so that when the employee works over the next few months, the balance will be reset to zero. For this example, we are saying the negative leave balance is not allowed. If you have three or four different types of leave policies, you can also define whether the leaves, the different leaves that are there available for the employees, can it be combined or not? Say, can a casual leave and a sick leave can be taken together or not? In case, in case you don't have any such recommended, uh, recommended way of combining leaves, you can leave this blank. Once I have defined these set of questions, my policy is ready. I can create the policy and assign the policies quite simply to all the other employees that, that are there in the company. Updating assignments at this time, the system will throw up for all the people who have been a part of the company, whether I want to define the policy effective date. The default setting is in case somebody had joined in the middle of the year, like this particular employee who had joined on the 3rd of Feb, the policy will be effective from the hiring date, not from the 1st of January. In this, the default values are usually what most companies want to go with. You can assign the leaves and you're ready to roll. Once your leave policy is assigned, when your employees log into the system, 
under the apply section when they log in they'll be able to see all the different leave types that are available to them this is the policy that we have just now created suppose the employee wants to take this particular leave type all they have to do is click here select the date for which they are going to take the leave give the reason for their manager to know why they are on leave and mark record leave at this point the leave request goes to the line manager and following the approval it gets recorded on the system in asanify we have also created a calendar view of the organization so that for all the employees in your company whether it's their birthday or the company holiday or when somebody is on leave the calendar will get populated for anyone to know exactly who's present at what time it usually helps uh from from a scheduling perspective if something has to be planned in the company another feature that asanify supports quite readily is adjusting the leave balances many a times you are changing the leave policy in the middle of the year and you want to reset the balance for any employee any particular leave type you can quite easily set the balance as on a particular date let's say on the 1st of february i want to reset the balance as 10 instead of 21 and i can update the leave from that point onwards the policy kicks in and the balance instead of being 21 starts off at 10 it allows the admin of the account a lot of flexibility to change the policies at any point of time even during the middle of any particular year quite simply that is how the organizations can manage their leaves using asanify